This is Matt Frame Two Boxing. I am delighted to be joined once again by Dave Coldwell. Dave, before we talk about last night's fights, talk to me. How are you? How's things? Uh, good, really good. Thanks. Um, keeping busy in the gym um, and gym and football. That's that's life at the moment, to be honest. But uh, it's good, really good. What about yourself? Yeah, I can't complain. I've got Vegas tomorrow, so I'm absolutely buzzing. Uh, look at you, big time now, big time. I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, God willing, this PCR test comes back all right. I know, I know, that's it, isn't it? If not, I'm going to need to be looked after very seriously because I'll be in <laughs> it's mentally if it does. But nah, um, positive thoughts, it'll be fine. Um, Dave, I want to get your reaction to last night's fight. Um, we'll start off with Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano. Incredible fight. I've been telling you for a while. This was, this was a historic moment, not just for women's boxing, but for boxing in general. Yeah. It was, Give us your thoughts and opinion on the event as a whole and that unbelievable main event. Well, I'll be honest with you. I two big shows on last night. Yeah. And um, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Katie Taylor, and I'm, I've seen Serrano booked before. And I'll be honest with you, this was a fight that I was worried about for Katie. I thought Serrano's a beast. And looking at Katie Taylor, you know, over the last couple of years, you'll you think, well, you can see the miles are starting to add up now a little bit. And I thought this this might be the one that that, yeah. that she doesn't pull off. And and I was kind of that mind track that I thought it's gonna be a really, really tough night for her if she gets a win. I wasn't sure she was gonna get the win at all. And I was looking forward to the Shakur Stevenson fight, but in my mind, because I'm a big fan of Stevenson and, and, and that fight and everything. I was kind of like, well, I hope the fights don't overlap. But I can imagine that probably if it looks like it's going to overlap, I'd probably switch over to Shakur Stevenson mm -hmm. if, if they started over and then and not find out the result and then go back to, to the Taylor fight. Um, but, mate, those entrances, forget about the fight, the entrances got me up. The atmosphere, the crowd, of it. And I'm watching, I'm thinking, I'm absolutely gutted that I'm not there experiencing it. I really was. I really was. I, that crowd, both 50-50, Puerto Ricans and Irish, um, it was just intense. I mean, Serrano's entrance was unbelievable. And then just the sheer focus and 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 you could see how, how she, she'd got a mindset when Kate was walking out, so slow, so everything up, but so concentrated and focused. Yeah. I was, honestly, it was unbelievable. And then when they came out round one, and you've seen them both shaping up, and I, I'm looking at Serrano, because without being bad, a lot, without being disrespectful, a lot of, of the female fights that, that I've seen, when you've got a good fighter, fight for a world title against somebody else, or what, the other person doesn't look as accomplished, as, as fluid and, and look as higher quality as the star name. Yeah. But in this fight, they both shaped up round one and it looked brilliant. And I was like, wow, these are this is good. Yeah. These are really good. And then um, the fight was just incredible. Uh, I know I'm ranting on, but I was real honestly, um the without a doubt, the best, best female fight I've ever seen. And one of the best fights of the I thought it was brilliant. It, it really was. And the atmosphere just made it everything. And I'm she she over, I've seen a Jake Paul put out and said said robbed and stuff like that. No bullshit robbed. It was a close fight, but it was a fight where look, I thought the com, I'll be honest here, the DAZN commentary, a lot of times it, it gets on my tits anyway. But last night, last night, they, they was making out as okay. Well. Taylor wasn't wasn't winning anything early doors. I thought she was out of box. Yes, two punches, two punches around. Serrano would cash away a good left hand up, maybe, or something. But Katie Taylor picking, picking, picking. And they weren't talking about that. So yeah. people that are just reliant, and you've got a lot of Jake Paul uh, fans and people out watching that, probably thinking that those couple of moments, win of the rounds, those couple of seconds, win of the rounds, she had a couple of massive moments in that fight. A couple of rounds where I thought, Katie Taylor's not getting through this. This is it. And she showed immense art and bravery um, to get through. But then not only get through, I think Serrano punched herself out a little bit, which allowed the pace to drop, allowed Katie to get a shit back together and get boxing back together. And then she never relinquished it again. And mm -hmm. that, the experience, the quality, the mindset, 
the toughness of the girl. We've seen so many times how tough she is, but all that combined to get her through last night. And I had her winning it by around maybe two rounds. Around, yeah. I could have, and but I would not argue if it went the other way. It's one of those fights yeah. because the early rounds, some of them were close. What I would say is the Serrano rounds were clear, and Katie Taylor's rounds early doors were nip and tuck. And it's like you've got to you've got to understand what you're watching. You've got to notice that just because somebody lands a little bit of an heavier shot doesn't negate your five six other shots that are landing and, and scoring. And so I had I had Katie. Um, uh, I think I think I had a win in the first three rounds, maybe I think it was. Um, and after eight, I had eight, eight, eight all. Um, yeah. I think I, I sorry eight all. I had four all after wow. eight. Um, but I thought she I, I thought she just just nicked it. I think um, it's hard when you watch it and you just absorb. I'm not sat at home scoring a fight. All these people that score a fight at home and things like that. I'm, I'm, if I, I'm there as a fan, I'm just wanting to see a great fight. And in my head, who do I think has won the fight? I'm not there to analyze it and, 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 yeah. you know, do it as a job. Um, but I had the feeling that I, I thought Katie Taylor won, won the fight, nicked the fight, but it was a close fight, a great fight, great advert for boxing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you look at Katie Taylor and what she's achieved throughout her career, um, Unbelievable. And this is this is the pinnacle. And we think about the doors that this will open for maybe the other fighters coming up. Um well she set the bar. She set the bar. Yeah. I mean, and, and this is the thing that, that I've thought. Um, listen, Clarissa, uh, Clarissa Shields is phenomenal mm. talent, everything, accomplished so much, everything. Yeah, great. But all this where they're calling her the goal and all this sort of I'm always I'm thinking to myself, but every time I hear him talking about it, I I'm thinking, are you forgetting what Katie Taylor's done? And forgetting what she's done for the sport and what she's done as a fighter. Um, so I, I've always thought, well, am I out of line? Am I missing something here? But then last night, it just it just rubber stamps it for me. She's the greatest female boxer of all time. Mm. And I, I she she's the goat, if you want to call it. Uh, but she's um she's been a trailblazer, she's a great role model. I think out of the ring as well, she's you know, there's no, there's no side side attractions to her in order to get her fame and and to to um uh, to get more eyes on her. People actually just tune in to watch her because she can fight mm. and because she's pushing herself and taking these risks and taking you know taking these fights and 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 put it all on the line. And then when it's not going so well for her, she fucking bites down and grits her teeth and yeah. goes at it. I mean, when she got hurt last night, the smart thing is grab hold, tie her up, you know, yeah. don't engage. But she was like, fuck this. I'm gonna, I'm giving it you straight back. And she was stuck there with a, you know, a big puncher. And um, when her legs are completely stiff and, and, and wooden, <laughs> um, just showing so much grit and determination. And again, that adds to what she's about. Yes, she can box. Yes, she's... She's this lovely person outside of it. I mean, I've been fortunate enough to meet her a few, meet her a few times. I commentated on the first pro fight, um, and I remember she blew me away then because it was like, wow, because I've never seen a, a female fighter like that. Um, but to see what she's got on and, and achieved, it's phenomenal. And, and this is why she's so popular. This is why you know people people love her because there are no. It, it's strictly business. It's it's what she is. That's it. She's a yeah. fighter. Did you ever think, obviously, you've been a coach for how many years now, did you ever think we'd get to this point in boxing where women's boxing has got to this point? Because it's it's, a, it's it's continuing to grow, but like people, if someone, if they say they'll run that rematch back, that'll sell out again. Incredible. Massive. Did, you, yeah. did, you, did you ever think it'd get to this point? Um, there's been a lot of work gone into it. And I've I, listen, I, I've seen how hard... It, 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 I'm not, you know, he it, it has his detractors and things like that. But I, I've seen how hard Eddie's worked on the female game, mm. um, and because he's had somebody like Katie Taylor from the start, and he's developed Katie, Katie's pushed the sport, pushed the boundaries with a, uh, you know, her star pulling power, and the fans in Ireland, she's kind of like 
set roots into everywhere else, into the you know, rest of the UK and now in, in America as well. So she's she's grown the sport, but Eddie and Matchroom have pushed the sport, the female sport, massively. Like, all yeah. on the back of her. Everybody, you, to, in order to push something, you need somebody to that that can reach out and that will be that that person you can use to to market and to push forward. And because of had Katie Taylor, and she's been you know she she's done what she's done in the ring. It's allowed Matchroom to 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 do the job that they've done. I'm doing a fantastic job, you know. Um, I, I, you know the the things that that people don't agree with and with and, and people have the favourites and promoters and stuff like that. But you got to call you got to call a spade a spade. And in terms of what they've done with Katie Taylor and for female boxing, and you look at the girls that they're bringing through on, on, on the roster as well and, and, and what they're doing for them, they're giving them a platform, they're giving them the big push, and that's why we are seeing more and more of, of, of uh, how popular female game is. But that's all, to, I'll be honest with you, that's all based starting on Katie Taylor. She, she took things to another level. Um, and uh, because of the way she's performed and because of the pulling power that she's got. But yeah. I think as a team effort, this is why we had an event like last night. And, you know, the production and things like that, we, we, we're match room, fantastic. Um, but without that draw, there is nothing. And you look at that, them Irish fans that were there. Oh, yeah. you know, we, we saw it with, with Conlon uh, against Lee Wood. You know, the, the fans, it doesn't matter if you're in Ireland, or if you're in America or in the UK, it sounds like you're in Ireland. And last night it was 50-50 with Puerto Rico, so it sounded even better. It was brilliant. You know, that for me, when you have a split in the fans like that, like Nottingham with, with Nottingham and, and, and Ireland, and then last night with Puerto Rico and Ireland, it just makes for such an unbelievable atmosphere, an incredible atmosphere. And, and that's again all part of the, the years of process, you know, with Katie and, and Eddie, what they've done together to create a special night like, like last night. 100%. And you can see the likes of um, Sky Nicholson, who they're bringing on, um, who fought on earlier on in the card and thinks she went to 3-0. She looks she looks a talent, a real talent. Yeah. And she's got an accomplished amateur background. But like I said, with off the back of Katie, like you said, leading the way, being that sort of shining light for years for women's boxing, these other girls will get their opportunity. I think I think every generation needs needs a flag bearer needs something that pushes the sport further into you know the, the average man and woman on, on the street they know who they are and you know um every generation needs that and because of their popularity it allows others to come through um you know and and you, you get you get that with each you know each stable when you have a star in a stable it brings through some of their prospects from that stable that would normally might not normally get a leg up on, on the bigger shows they get on the undercards and things it's the same with with Kate now what she's done for female boxing and listen Clarissa Shields has done brilliant in America and stuff like that but you know I, I just feel as though Kate has been the the one that's really really like pushed the boundaries of, of popularity um you know and now you look at Savannah Marshall coming through and Savannah's getting that great big a big push now and, and she's now um you, you're seeing her personality come out now so she's getting more fans so she kind of like the next generation and then and so on and so on um so you will continue to that and the, and we've always said that each year that passes or you know each olympic cycle that passes as well um the quality of, of the women's game in depth will improve that's been the problem for me is that the depth isn't there so you have a really outstanding fighter but they're getting world title shots in Three, five. six fights, five fights. Do you know what I mean? Because there's nobody around. So it, for, for me, it dilutes it a little bit because you can't you can't say it. Um, and it's not about being sexy or anything like that. You can't say, oh, they're on the same level as, as you know, majority of, of male uh, counterpart world champions because they've not gone through the whole process. Like a lot of our world champions now, uh, in Britain, say, uh, maybe a for area level, domestic level, maybe European yeah. level, got gone through the levels, having those tough fights against champions or you know contenders, and then get a world title fight. But when because the depth is is very very um, shallow, uh, when they're getting world title opportunities at so early on in this stage, where they're still learning and developing themselves, yeah. they're not a complete article. But the kind of like what you know, like what we would have had area titles. You know, it's a step up, right? It is, it is. But you know, 
as time's going on, the depth's going to be better and it's become, going to be even better for the girls that are coming through the next generation. You know, you know, um, uh, Lauren Prices and people like that and um, uh, the next, all, you know, all the girls that are going to be coming through beyond them. Um, I think I, I think we're going to see female boxing just grow and grow and grow. And more importantly, the quality will grow and grow and grow. Yeah. And so, you know, when you see like Kate Taylor, she wins, an, or she wins a world title and then she goes on unifiers and she's taking the real fights and she's fighting quality fighters all the way through. That's what's making her a better fighter. And I think that's what will happen to guy, girls like um, uh, Sky Nicholson. You know, she's so far above quality wise than the yeah. girls that she's fighting. But it's like, how do you then just you then have to jump up and fight for, for a world title in order to improve as a fighter and things like that? So mm-hmm. each generation will will find it get it'll be it'll be harder to become world champions, but it'll be better because it'll improve the profile of their fights, especially early on as well. Um, where the you know people respect respect it more with their accomplishments.